Hello, this is Angelia with today's wisdom. Today's wisdom comes from Daily Ohm. Cling to the core when our world falls apart. And uh, my world has fallen apart several times. <laughs> and you know, um, ultimately your choice is you dust yourself off, get back up, start walking again, or the alternative then some unfortunate folks choose to take. There are times when our whole world seems to be falling apart around us and we are not sure what to hold on to anymore. Um, and as if, you know, um, you don't have a strong foundation, you know, like God or, you know, a good family. Sometimes our relationships crumble and sometimes it's our physical environment. Um, one of my sons just got divorced, you know, this past year and he didn't even see it coming. We didn't even see it coming. You know, she was keeping it close to the vest. Um, and, you know, that's a, that's a shame. She just left him for another man. Uh, and I've been divorced twice. So, you know, that was pretty traumatic. You know, the reasons and everything. Um, so, and, you know, sometimes uh, you lose a job. Uh, you lose your home, you know, to a natural disaster or something. And... You know, stuff happens. We never, we never know. At other times, we can't put our finger on it, but we feel as if all the walls have fallen down around us and we are standing with nothing to lean on, exposed and vulnerable. And that usually happens when somebody that we thought was trustworthy, you know, so maybe someone we loved or maybe a good friend, lets us down, you know? Uh, we thought that they were there for us, like we would be there for them, and then they weren't and that basically just strips your you know emotions until you just feel like you're empty inside these are the times in our lives when we are given an opportunity to see where we have established our sense of identity safety and well-being because you should be the number one person in your life you should be in charge of your life you should not give your power to other folks um, and safety, um, we were having problems here. Our, our garage got broken into, so, you know, we had a little security system on a couple of the windows here for, you know, people that were bugging around on the porch and in the yard and everything. Uh, but then we have had to upgrade with, you know, one with, um, 24-7, you know, support and, um, uh, you know, a panic button and, you know, uh, the whole keypad deal where you get to put your code in and all that stuff. <laughs> so we had to upgrade because we weren't safe. You know, we were getting broken into, and that's a shame. Um, and well-being, you know, um, something could happen. You could get a disease, a uh, chronic condition, um, and you don't feel like your well-being is so sure anymore. <laughs> and while it is perfectly natural and part of our process, to locate our sense of self in externals, which is unfortunate, but in the world today, oh, I'm trying not to sneeze. I feel it tickling. Ah. Ah. Uh, a lot of people use their sense of identity um, and believe it's in the external things. Your job, your house, your car, the things you have in your home, you know, your family, what they do and everything. I mean, that shouldn't be true. You, you should have an identity of your own, of yourself. Um, and it shouldn't be stuff. <clears throat> Anytime those external factors shift, which they will, we have an opportunity to rediscover and move closer to our core, the person we are inside, our spirit person, which is the only true safe place to call home because you're you and you're always going to be you even if you change the things you do at the core you're still you nothing else in life is going to be consistent and you know steady for you the core of our being is not affected by the shifting winds of circumstance or subject to the cycles of change that govern physical reality um because let's face it uh, uh everything is probably going to change in physical reality. It is as steady and consistent, uh, consistent bleh, as the sun 
which is why the great mystics and mystical poets often reference the sun in their odes to the self um, because you know it's the bright shining uh, thing in our universe and your soul is the bright shining thing inside of you like the sun there are times when our core seems to be inaccessible to us but this is just a misperception we know that when the sun goes behind a cloud or sets for the night, it has not disappeared, but is simply temporarily out of sight. Um, and depression, anxiety, you know, death of a loved one, a breakup, that's all going to make you feel, you know, about an uh, inch tall, if that. Um, and so, you know, don't take those down times too hard because we all go through them and they're going to happen. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. In the same way, we can trust that our inner core is always shining brightly, even when we cannot quite see it. We can cling to this core when things around us are falling apart, knowing that an inexhaustible light shines from within ourselves, the light that God put into us. You know, our soul, our spirit that came from him. It's a part of him. And when we go, we're going to go back up, you know, to be with him. Hopefully, um, if you're saved. Um, so. Times of external darkness can be a great gift in that they provide an opportunity to remember this inner light that shines regardless of the circumstances of our lives. Because, you know, um... It's like the song, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, and that's true, you know. Um, it might be cliche, but it is true. So, you know, don't, when things get dark, don't stay in the darkness. Turn on the light, find the light, go to the light, and, you know, pick yourself back up. When our external eyes begin to come back together, we are able to lean a bit more lightly on the structures we used to call home. Knowing more clearly than ever that our true home is the bright sun, your soul, shining in our core. So when your world falls apart, and it will, happens to everybody, um, cling to your core and get back up. Dust yourself off. Get back on the road. <laughs> Think about it. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and share this wisdom so we can spread it around the world. If you want to help me out, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to help me out even more, go to my Patreon page and become a patron. That's all for now. Until next time.